Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Beautiful pros turn to get points away. Hmm. That's interesting. Haven't seen Zai play Pangolier in a minute. Okay. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Mm, really looking forward to seeing what they want to go here for VP at the end of their draft. What hero do they believe? Oops, excuse me. Is going to be able to deal with this Pango. Because the Pango is actually not terrible versus Morphling. In a lot of stages of the game, that Heart Piercer affects Morphling even when he's morphing into high levels of Agi. Virtus Pro, 15 seconds to decide what to play for no one. His Zeus is, I guess, possible. His Tiny is out, his Lina's out. His Necro is gone. His Templar, his Invoker, what's it gonna be? Pagna. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the thing about this Pugna, right? And why I've always, why I actually like Pugna as a final pick here. So, firstly, before they needed it, before what they needed to do for this hero is firstly be able to secure somebody who can actually survive the laning phase versus this OD. You need somebody that can push down towers. You just need a hero that can be decent in teamfight as well. The teamfight before this was still just limited to Phoenix and the Centaur. And it seems like Puppy was right, it does end up being a position for Centaur. So he was correct to ban out the Pasha Tiny. But it's gonna be an even more legendary thing. I haven't been treated to a Pasha Phoenix in the offlane in quite some time. We have Yapso Rubik, Pasha Phoenix, Ramsey's Morphling, Nisha Awkwarden, OD for mid one. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, alright. Strunfield, I hope, you know, I, I don't think this one's going to be, I think it's going to be a better game than the previous one. This is definitely going to be very exciting for me. I, I do favor the Team Secret draft. I feel like, That's how it's done. ultimately, oh, right now, the way that this tournament has been going, it is about right. whether or not Awkward can lose, rather than do you have the tools to beat it. This hero has has gained my confidence. And also, it's not like Morphling is necessarily the best hero against Awkward. And Awkward can sit safely away from the Morphling inside the magnetic field. They don't have the easiest way with the Awkward to kill Morphling it's like super fast, but can get there. So Nisha, have yet to see him lose on this hero. Let's see how he performs here today. Awkward and being played up by Team Secret. The ace in the hole. Puppy, the captain of the team, playing the Ogre Magi. Yap, Zor, Rubik, bitch! Mid one will be playing on the outdoor Devourer. And down towards bottom, we have Zai on the Pangolier. You know, tipping that hat. On the other side, while he's yelling in my ear, it's gonna be Ramsey's Morphling. The watery one here. For the side of Virtus Pro. In the mid lane, no one is going to be playing on the Pugna. Towards the top side of the map, Solo. On the Dazzle, Roger will be playing the Centaur. And right. last but not least, Pasha Phoenix.
Um, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm so hyped. I haven't also seen an overleveled Phoenix in a while. It's been kind of boring that everybody plays the Phoenix the same way. So, this game is going to be something interesting at the very least. Roger. Roger, Roger, Roger. I'm just going to block some of this wave as well. So, let's think how these lanes going to work out. I think this top lane goes perfectly fine for the Arc Warden. Doesn't really have issues. And it's not like VP has the easiest way to stop Arc Warden from farming, right? These Fire Spirits can be dodged. And even if they all land onto Nisha, it's not like Nisha will be zoned out of the wave. They're going to go and lay Fire Spirits out onto Puppy, rather. And the first one is going to land. No one at middle. What happened? Oh, did no one deny his range creep? Feels bad. Feels bad, man. Oh, lol. That was so funny. Did you guys see that? That was hilarious. So, no one decrypts mid one to make sure that mid one can't actually CS him and deny his creep in front of his face. And then mid one immediately astrals the creep. Oh, but no one denies his range creep in front of his face as well. Oh my goodness. Feels bad, man. But they're both 3 and 2 right now. Although, two of these denies from no one have been range creeps. Only the one from mid one has been, so... So, Anisha actually finds a killer top. They bring down Pasha. How did that happen? Puppy doesn't even have Ignite or the Fire Blast. Has Bloodlust. But they Bloodlust onto Nisha. Nisha, with the Spark Wraith, is able to secure this kill. Pasha did have the Fire Spirits instead of the Icarus Dive, so he's unable, really, to go back to safety when he gets gone on in that fashion. Lol. Lol, no one is being such a dick right now. Towards bottom, we see Zai has finally been allowed to get some CS underneath his own tier 1 tower, but Ramses has also been having an excellent early game. Not really much that Zai can do about this. Uh, in the mid lane, they are going to try and get a kill onto no one. The Fire Blast will be there from Puppy, but there's no Arcane or from mid one, so he's not going to go in with it. If somebody was seeping in but cancelled. Must have been the Dazzle. I can't imagine anybody else would be coming to help. Ramses and Zai just tipping each other here at the bottom. Zai is not happy with any of this. You can just you can't approach the lane. That's the one weakness of this Pangalia. Not really the strongest laner in a, like this kind of situation in particular. And Ramsey's damn, seven denies for the Morphling. Eight, in fact. Jesus Christ. Yo, what, what's what's happening with VP, man? This laning phase for them. Seems like they are pretty tilted about the events of the previous game. And mid one and no one. So firstly, no one is demolishing this mid lane. Well, not demolishing. He's winning this mid lane. But this Morphling is demolishing this bottom lane. And they're not necessarily getting an equivalent trade out at top. Because Pasha is still getting some CS. He's level 2 right now. But because of the fact that he hasn't been hyper denied, Nisha isn't that much ahead of levels on Pasha. And they're going to try to get a kill onto Nisha, in fact. Icarus Dive with the Fire Spirits will be there. Double Edge does come out after the Hoof Stomp. Nisha, can he TP out in time? Oh my goodness. Puppy with the Fire Blast onto Pasha to prevent him from being able to throw out the last right click. And Nisha has a Sal ferried out to him. We'll consume it. Mm. That was actually a pretty sick play. Very heads up. It's always weird to me how good Puppy is. Like his decision making, man. This is so, so legit. Spark Wraith laid out onto Roger after the Fire Blast. They might be able to find the kill onto Roger because they also fluxed them. But it looks like the counter play might be happening too. Roger. Double edge will be there. Oh, here comes Yapso though. Yapso helping them get a kill onto Pasha. Pasha no longer has access to the Icarus Dive. And now, because of the Fire Blast from Puppy, enables them to get that kill. Nisha doesn't have any mana for a new Spark Wraith to be thrown out. But Yapso, he sees where Roger is. And they're going to surround him with the CS. There's going to be a Hoofstomp. Mango popped Roger. Nisha got debated into that situation. That was actually a really bad play from him. Simultaneously, Ramses. 
Uh, it seems to just solo kill Zai at bottom. Look, yeah, that, that kill should not have happened. Nisha shouldn't have died there. Puppy, right now. He is gonna put a fire blast out onto Pasha. The Icarus dive with, as well as the fire spirits had been used, but here's Roger again. With these boots, he's gonna try and run down these heroes. Looking for the double edge onto Puppy, he does find it. Uh, Puppy, the vision granted by the Observer Ward will allow Roger to follow that up with the secondary double edge, and they will be able to kill the Ogre Magi at last. Mid one, Erstwhile, he's gonna find himself getting nether drained. Oh, almost died, the life drain. Not enough to kill him though. He also has a salve delivered to him. A lot of their gold has just been sent on salves and on consumables for secret. They will be able to find a kill onto Roger here on the top side of the map with the flux triggered out onto him by Nisha. Honestly, I feel like Team Secret's in trouble this early game. Between Morph, as now no one is actually crushing mid. 36 and 13 for the Pugna versus the 20 and 6 of the OD. Also, another thing to mention in favor of this Pugna pick is this Nether Ward, when it comes out, is going to be awful for mid one. He's going to be trying to cast spells, trying to use arcane orbs, and just going to be losing all his mana in the process. Roger, he's going to loop around towards the mid lane, but... The fact that Japso is here makes it unlikely that they're going to be able to find any kills. Bottom lane, we do see them trying to find Jai in the trees. Ramses has stolen the Pangolier form, doesn't have enough mana to get the jump forward though. Zai, still juking, will eventually go down solo. With the heal, ends up getting that kill. And Yapso is going to be scouted moving in this area, but they don't have any stuns to keep him in position. 43 CS, 19 denies. Level 7 Morphling versus level 4 Pangolier. Good God. The small thing is going to be huge this game. And he has the value ring of health for now. I'm not sure if he's going to transition this into a Lincoln Sphere. Not the best game for Lincolns, regardless. Only two things that it's useful against. The Fire Blast, as well as the Lift. And ultimately, there's so many ways to pop it. Uh, they're going to get the Lift out onto Solo. He gets banished. Puppy will be here looking for the Fire Blast. They get it off onto Solo. They want to try and kill the one first. Hope Stomp will be there. But the Life Drain as well allows him after the double edge to get the kill onto Puppy. And they're going to get a kill onto Phoenix maybe at top. Oof, almost fell down. Nisha. Okay, he was doing something else. He wasn't microing for a second. Look where Ramsey's position. Ramsey's is playing like he's playing Axe or something. Sitting in, be in between the tier 1 and tier 2. They are going to try and find a kill onto Ramsey, however. They're going to go forward with the Swashbuckle Shield Crash. Will slow him down somewhat, but mid one doesn't have enough movement speed to close the gap and get off the Astral, so Morphling should be able to escape. We'll just go use the Sanctuary. Him and no one. Take advantage of the shrine. Both of them are... They seem kind of pissed, actually. The way they are playing right now. They are they are not happy at all. You can just sense them by the way they are moving around the map. They're just like, the, who the fuck do you guys think you are? They're gonna kill mid one now. Adapter strike onto him. Will this OD be able to escape? Okay, nice imprisonment onto the Morphling. And he just TPs out to safety. Top lane though, they're gonna get the lift back onto Roger. Roger should end up losing his life here. Spark Wraith doesn't need to trigger off because Nisha finds the right click. Simultaneously, Zai showed up at mid, died almost instantly. Still level 4. Yeah, no one is level 9 right now. Morphling's level 8. Hell, even Pasha. Okay, Pasha's also level 4. Okay. So both offlaners have... It's been rough. It's been rough. They have managed to get level 5 for Zaya now. And yep, so... As well as Zaya. We're trying to keep this here one tower alive, but unfortunately, they cannot. And no one, like a dick, as soon as he takes the tower, puts in the applause line.
How many levels has Swallow put into this? I was about to say, this seems like a pretty strong poison touch. Level 3 poison touch he went for. Good god. Doesn't even have a point into the shallow grave. Not that they've really needed. And there we go, tier on tower will fall. Goes directly the way of Virtus Pro. And Ramsey's not done just yet. He proceeds towards bottom. He's got no one with him. So they're like, well, we can actually try and take this. But we do have Puppy looping around on the back side of the fight. Oh my goodness, look at the damage they're taking from this Nether Ward. And Ramsey's just gonna rush forward and they get this kill. Nisha TP's in, but this might be a mistake from him. Flux laid out as well as the Static Link. With a life drain though, coming in from no one. Allows him to get the kill onto Nisha. The way from forward by Ramsey's. He's thrown away the Warflings form. They almost get this kill onto no one. Thanks to the Swashbuckle flying through and the Heart Piercer. The Stampede coming out from Virtus Pro. And the way from forward allows Puppy... To get yet another kill. So three heroes. All go down. And there still is potential for them to claim this here two tower anyway. So Ramsey's. Yeah looking extremely strong right now. They will still be able to defend this tower. But we also saw in that fight the power of the nether ward. Just anyone using spells is like, oh, damn, this hurts. Zai, uh, this is interesting, goes in for the Rolling Thunder. They want to try and get this kill. Uh, Zai knows exactly what he's doing around the area, the ramp down into the river. He knows that this, these are angles we can bounce around from. Able to get a kill onto the center there. So Roger does go down. Yep, so... Picks up a kill off of his support counterpart on the enemy team. That might allow them to start arresting the momentum that VP have already built up. They have a 5k lead for themselves right now. Or well, 6k. It's slowly but surely continually rising. Because of how well the Smorfling is doing. As well as how well no one is doing on the Pugna. And also how poorly everyone else is doing from the side of Team Secret. In particular, Jai. Really, really struggling this game. Uh, they're gonna find Morphling and catch him while he's not morphing. Oh my goodness, doesn't get the attribute shift. Feels so bad. Alright, that sucks. But it is what it is. Check your Jabso. Jabso is the one that did all that damage. He gets the lift. Gets the stolen double edge with the fade bolts as well. Yep, so man, why God? Okay. Life drain goes out onto mid one, down at bottom. Jeez, so much damage was dealt there. The weave does come out and the nether blast. From the no one Pagna will be able to find that kill. The shield crash will be there after the rolling thunder from Zai. And they'll just go back, kill this nether ward. And end up trading a mid hero for a safe laner. But OD is doing really poorly, so mid one. Mid one is actually about as much worth as the dazzle was. Wow. No wonder they actually got a little bit more money for secret for that kill. Zai slowly building into having that javelin. Just a required item for this hero. Uh, I think the Arcane Rune is best suited for Yapso, yeah. Especially because he managed to steal Weave by some miracle. They can actually... They could s try and find a kill here. Roger might end up being the one that dies. Yeah, Roger's dead. He's gonna get lifted. The Weave will be out there. Yapso. Can they get this kill? Stampede gets stolen as well. Yep. Honestly, it's worth it to, to let him go if they're going to get Stampede out of it. Solo now being slowed down in the top bottom side of the map. Fire Blast will be there from Puppy and Nisha. One more right click underneath the Spark Wraith. Ends up getting a kill onto Dazzle. Oh, 
stampede used actually the phoenix supernova will pop and they get the kill onto mid one uh, they will also be able to bring down the Ogre Major. Yapso will be able to pop the Shrine, trying to keep himself safe and alive. He just wants to lift. Three more seconds. He's stolen the Attribute Shift. And he will be able to lift one. Oh, he's still Stampede again, but it's already been used. That's not right. He will not be able to sustain this. And it will end up going down. And now we see them waveforming forward, looking towards Zai. Shield Crash will come out. No one at the same time. Able to kill Nisha. How? Oh my god, no one Pugna, guys. Even ports out to safety. Roger. Might be in a little bit of trouble. Mid one. Gonna be chasing him down with these arcane orb walks. And they also used the ultimate from mid one when they took this fight around the bounty room. So the Sanderi's Eclipse. Not really there in order to be able to ensure that they can get a team fight victory. Or at least it is there. It was used, just did nothing. Wow! Pagna life drain. Oh my god, with this Aether Lens as well. Well, Nisha Ostal at the very least has managed to find himself being able to farm with his Necro 1. Looks like he's almost got his Hand of Midas set already. There are 10k gold behind and Virtus Pro. I wouldn't say they're making it look easy, but they're making it very, 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 very competitive across the series. And we do see Jai. Jai is trying to get this kill, but needs to swash buckle out to safety. Now we do the whole storm onto two heroes on the back line of the fight. Roger able to catch Puppy and Yapso. They've already brought down Zai. Poison Star standing onto Yapso. Onto Puppy. Puppy will die from one more right click coming in from Ramses. Yapso manages to steal away from uses it to get himself out of danger. And they will force a buyback from the Ogre. Oh, excuse me, from the Ogre Magi. Morph with Lincoln Sphere. 17 minutes into this game. Nisha is the only hero on the side of Team Secret that has more than 5k net worth right now. Even so, he is definitely not ready to be able to fight just yet with this Arc Warden. Seems like Virtus Pro has cracked this code about how to deal with the awkward and just be hyper aggressive in the early game I mean, we're 80 minutes into this game and almost have a killer minute in total for this and OD does go back for the four stuff um, okay this is kind of dangerous Astros himself there will be a stampede Rolling Thunder does get used. Here comes Yapso. They lift up Roger and put him in the air. They have Stampede themselves now. And are they going to go further for this fight? Oh, Swashbuckle up onto the high ground. Roger is still alive. He's actually going to turn around and use the double edge to bring down the OD. They also lose Zai as well. Puppy's going to die too to the Fire Spirits from Pasha. Yo, Seam Secret. Bite off. Um, they bite off a fight. They cannot chew that shit. They get chewed the hell up themselves. And Ramsey's. Gonna group up with this team, they can push down this mid tower. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower. Mid tower does fall down. Pugna gonna move towards the tower in the top lane as well. This is gonna go down with basically no resistance doesn't seem like team secret will be able to stop this and this is the how you deal with the awkward and it seems you just never let the game actually start for the awkward and oh my goodness what a time to be alive and now vp are inside the roshan pit taking down the sages And there's no way that this will be defended by the side of Team Secret. Man, no one Pugna, guys. This guy. 705 right now. Definite MVP of this game. Like, no matter what, if the game ended right now, 
Oh, let me see, put it this way. Someone's gonna have to pull off something really amazing to impress me more than what no one already has. Pasha has a Midas as well. This is actually one of the reasons why I wanted to see this Phoenix being picked up in the position 3. Is with Midas and the 90 gold talent, you can get firstly so many items, but you're gonna hit level 18 super fast. And then at that point, dealing with the supernova, not something that you are gonna be enjoying if you're playing on the side of Team Secret. Ramsey is just merely attacking onto the tier 3 tower. They really want to just take this down right now. And the tier 3 will fall. Will Team Secret manage to fight this somehow? Right now they seem to lack the ability to do so. Ramsey, this is his home. He gets weaved up as well. And here comes Rolling Thunder on the back side of the fight. Okay, Yabzo gets jumped upon right now by Roger. Magnetic field was used. Roger falling very low. They will be able to kill him. No. The Shallow Grave keeps him alive. The Supernova, will it die? Yes, it will. But it does cost the Tempest double life. Waveform forward by Ramsey is able to get a double kill by bringing down Nisha. Mid one. Alive for a moment, but unfortunately not that many, that many moments. Leaving the Sanity's Eclipse not enough to save his life. This feels like GG. Feels like Ramsey is actually too strong right now. He turns into the Ogre Magi for a moment, turns back into himself. He is taking quite a bit of damage. A hard piercer does go out. And they lift him. They have Ramses in their sights. He manages to shift his attributes though. And Swap Wraith. So far, all they've taken is the Range Rax. They actually haven't been able to grab more. Buyback from mid one will scare them away, however. Or will it? They have to be afraid. Team Secret, they know how much VP loves their fake backs. So they can't leave the base thinking, oh no, it's safe to leave now, just because they're not right at the foot of our door. I feel so bad to be Zai right now. This is fairly regrettable. He's gonna buy a Blink Dagger very soon for Zai, but he's fallen way behind even the Centaur. Roger has like 2k gold up on the offlane Pango. About to buy 4 star for himself as well. And Pasha is 14. Pasha is level 14 and he has access to the Shiva's Guard now. So Nisha has his game set out for him on this Arc Warden. Okay, my hand is getting a bit tired of moving the camera. So I'm gonna take the lazy route and give it to Wepass. Puppy with mid one. They could potentially try and make this jump, but the morphling right now, Ramses, is about to try and take this rack. So the magnetic field from Nisha will protect those racks for now. Puppy TP's back into the base. Mid one might become visible. Fire blast flying out onto him. They lift him back. Actually, they might be able to get this kill. No, Ramses. Turns back into the real form, doesn't use the magnetic field anymore. And the Sunray heals him up. And Nisha is just making sure he can't get in the jump. Will be there for Roger. They want to try and go for Nisha directly. They're going to be a swing in as well from Pasha. Supernova gets dropped down. They are able with the adaptive drive to get the kill onto the off on the side of the fight. The Supernova will trigger off. It doesn't stun anybody, but mid one right now is being chased down by the Sunray. And he's going to die. Next of four will be Nisha. No, that's Ramsey's actually. That's the real one. Doesn't matter though. Because the rest of the team has indeed died and Team Secret call GG and VP will take game two. This time they're the ones that make it look easy. Man, man, they crushed that awkward. Wow, they destroyed awkward. Woo! That was that was something. Um